a type of blood cancer that happens in lymphoid cells. In our blood and bone marrow, there is a cell type called lymphocytes. When a lymphocytes turn into a cancerous cell, the lymphoma uh, happens. Uh, when it comes to uh, lymphomas, lymphocytes are very important in the immune system. Uh, when these lymphocytes become cancerous or so abnormal, your immune system gets affected. Hence, leading to so many complications related to infections. There are different types of lymphomas. Uh, mainly, they are divided into two types. Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma is the lymphoma described by James Hodgkin's is a uh, doctor. Uh, he described a cell called Reed Sternberg cells and we sometimes call a different uh, variation of that cell called Hodgkin's cell. So lymphomas with the Reed Sternberg cell or Hodgkin's cell is called uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Anything which doesn't have that uh, cell is called non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So those are the two main types of uh, lymphomas. Again, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is divided into low-grade and high-grade types. Under low-grade, there are so many different subtypes as well as uh, in the high-grade, there are so many different types. Though we artificially, or for our convenience, uh, consider it as broadly Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in real life and uh, in clinic, uh, clinicians uh, treatment uh, planning there are so many different types of lymphomas and it's very important to know exactly what type of lymphoma you have got to plan the treatment. Uh, in majority of cases we don't know what is uh, the cause of lymphoma. If you look at uh, 100 patients, 99% of the time or even more, uh, we don't know why the patient got lymphoma. But there are certain instances we know that certain conditions can cause lymphoma or predispose them to have a lymphoma. Lymphomas can come in families. So we have seen uh, patients with the family history uh, of a lymphoma getting uh, these diseases so they have a higher prevalence uh, in those families uh, whether it is uh, due to a particular genetic uh, issue or the uh, family members in the same family get exposed to the same environment is questionable but it is believed that it is probably coming due to uh, genetics and also we know sometimes people get lymphomas due to infections the best example is hiv and also people get lymphomas due to ebv virus so those are viral infections it's not uh, only ebv and hiv there are so many other infections which will predispose you to lymphomas certain drugs there are certain drugs which will uh, dampen your immune system or we call immune suppression uh, given not for cancer due to other medical uh, conditions which can predispose or cause somebody to have a lymphoma. Radiation therapy is another example. People who got uh, exposed to ionizing radiation, high doses have a predisposition to get lymphomas due to uh, ionizing radiation. That is in a minority where we know the reason. That is not exclusive the list I told you, but in majority of cases, we don't know why people get lymphomas. Uh, signs and symptoms of uh, lymphoma depend on uh, the different types of lymphoma. There are some lymphomas, particularly slow growing ones, uh, which can go on for months and years without any uh, signs and symptoms. Uh, and it may be diagnosed like low grade uh, uh, or chronic leukemias, it may be diagnosed incidentally when you do a scan or a blood test for something unrelated. On the other hand, uh, in uh, high grade lymphomas, people can come up with symptoms. They can present due to problems directly related to lymphoma. Uh, these are uh, cancers, uh, these are types of blood cancers 
which come up in the lymphoid system or lymph in lymph nodes so people can come with enlarged lymph nodes uh, particularly in the cervical area or in the neck under armpits or in groins and also they can come with what we call B symptoms as lymphomas uh, compromise or reduce your immune system they can get infections so people can present with infections or oh, there are some uh, what we call B symptoms or constitutional symptoms they uh, they are losing weight some people get uh, fever uh, not because of infections lymphoma itself due to some chemicals uh, they release uh, they can get fever and also some people uh, present with night sweats so those are the classic uh, B symptoms we talk about but sometimes we see people come with itching and general ill health or vague uh, ill health like you know sometimes they can't present and tell exactly what is wrong but they don't feel right so those are the symptoms uh, generally lymphoma patients present with diagnosis of lymphoma can sometimes takes uh, weeks and months because as i explained those symptoms are not only related to lymphomas when somebody come and tell i am not feeling right uh, in majority of the time it is not because of a lymphoma that is because of something else uh, because those symptoms are very common in the community uh, it can take a long time for somebody to suspect a patient is having a lymphoma lymphomas are diagnosed on biopsies so we do lymph node biopsies that is the investigation to diagnose a lymphoma it is under the microscope microscope on the histology but there are certain other blood test we do which will or which can give a clue about the lymphoma we do full blood count or looking at the blood count we we'll do test to check their kidneys and liver functions uh, and also we do scans to see the spread of lymphoma there is a staging system depending on uh, to how far the lymphoma has spread the scans are very important uh, they may be ct scans mri scans pet scans or ultrasound scans to look at the spread but lymphoma diagnosis comes on histology on biopsies in addition we can do bone marrow to uh, bone marrow aspiration and biopsy again sometimes we diagnose lymphomas in bone marrow uh, or bone marrow test uh, if you see the lymphoma there but most of the time we do bone marrow for staging purposes that's to see whether the lymphoma has spread into bone marrow when you look at uh, treatments there are two uh, sides to treatment one is the specific treatment for lymphoma and the second is the supportive care when it comes to specific treatment for lymphomas there are different different types of lymphomas is very important to see a specialist who is treating uh, blood cancers as treatment depend on the type of lymphoma and the spread and the fitness for treatment on individual basis conventionally we use chemotherapy but nowadays more and more we use immunotherapy or chemo immunotherapy and different biological therapies those are all given as either injections or tablet to tackle the disease also in some instances not very common we can use radiotherapy for local control of lymphomas but it is very rare people getting cured only with radiotherapy radiotherapy the place of radiotherapy in lymphoma is for symptom control if you want to control symptoms we can use radiotherapy very rarely it can be used for curative purposes for lymphomas which are uh, very well localized and restricted to one place in certain types of lymphomas that is possible but in majority of patients is by chemotherapy chemoimmunotherapy or biological therapies